Good evening. Staycation accommodation costs in seaside resorts are soaring this summer with the price of one property in Brighton jumping 140% according to research by the consumer group Witch. Its snapshot survey of booking sites including Airbnb reveals the cost of stays in England for July and August is on average 35% higher than last summer. But one property in Brighton has the biggest markup from £53 to £127 a night. And while you can't stay in self-contained accommodation until at least the 12th of April. People are already planning to holiday in the UK, leading to greater demand. Peter Whittlesey reports. Schools reopen to all pupils again from Monday after the Prime Minister made it his top priority in the four-stage roadmap out of lockdown. But secondary school students and staff are being asked to wear masks in the classrooms and be tested regularly for coronavirus, while police are warning students not to meet in groups before or after school. John Hunt's been to Bexhill Academy, which is testing pupils so they can fully open from the start of next week. Well, some university students can also return to face-to-face -face teaching from Monday and we can speak now to Professor Deborah Humphreys, the Vice-Chancellor at the University of Brighton. Thank you so much for joining us. You're planning a staggered return for your students. Why is that? Uh, now, it's just after quarter to seven. This is our top story tonight. Work is about to begin on a £40 million flood defence scheme in Kent. It's part of a major project to protect the whole of the Romney Marsh area. More than 14,000 homes and 700 businesses on the marsh are below the present high tide level. So without the work, the local communities are highly vulnerable to the impact of climate change. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin has tonight's special report. February... Now, it's almost a decade since X Factor contestant Lucy Spraggan wowed the TV talent show judges with her original songs. The singer from Canterbury has enjoyed chart hits and a successful touring career since then. But two years ago, Lucy said she found herself drinking to mask unhappiness. She's been sober ever since, and her sixth album, Choices, was number one in the iTunes chart earlier this week. She's been chatting to Zoe O'Brien. Last night... With uh, sports facilities up and down the country still closed due to lockdown, it's perhaps hard to believe that the biggest sporting event in the world is taking place in less than five months' time. The Olympic Games in Tokyo had to be rescheduled to July this year because of coronavirus. And our sports reporter, Juliet Parkin, has been speaking to three South East athletes about what it's been like preparing under a cloud of uncertainty. That's lovely. Now it's time for some weather forecast. Nina is with us and it's looking a little colder this weekend. Is it that is right? chilly, but at least it's dry. We'll have some sunshine and pretty chilly. Thank you, Nina. That's lovely. Well, that's it from us for the moment. I'm back, though, with your late news. That's at 10.30. But in the meantime, from all of us, have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.